And I thank God for that. I thank and praise God for the man to serve him. I thank God for what he is today. But of all, thank God for salvation. Thank God for thank God. Jesus. I thank God how he came to my life one day. I thank God how he's taking my life. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. service leaders, evangelists, yeah. Odom, our sister Drayden, our brother, oh. praise the Lord, you know, praise God, our brother Joe, sorry, and our, and, and our visitor there, praise yeah. God for seeing him again, and our brother Andrew, praise God, and the young people. Thank God for being here, it's a pleasure yeah. to be able to see everyone one more time, to be found once again in the land of the living. Yeah. I praise God because he is a good God on today yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's always worthy of our praise. Yeah. I thank God for being alive. Thank God for my family being alive. Yeah. I thank God for how he continues to protect Danielle as she goes to work and come back. As I have said, she has a night job and she gets back early in the morning. Trains has done shut down. 
But I thank God, God is continuously protecting her. Yes. And now she was telling me that on her job that they don't allow you to leave individually. If one person has to stay, uh, she's waiting for a cab, everybody has to stay and wait until she gets into that cab. Wait till everybody, everybody has to leave together. And I just praise God for that. I thank God for the protection that he keeps around them. I thank God for even bringing my daughter out of the hospital, Mary. <coughs> praise God for that. We know that God is still an awesome God. We know that he's able to do the impossible. And I praise God for my prayers because the word says that the prayers of the righteous are valid. So even though our children may be doing whatever they're doing and sinning, et cetera, et cetera, but if, I, if we're living right, and the word before that says, confess your faults one to another and pray, and then a fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. But I praise God I have no condemnation in my heart today. I have love for everyone, no fake love, no going around here trying to show it just to get approval from people. But I thank God that love is genuine on today. And I praise God most of all for God's love on today. Oh, because his love can move mountains on today. His love can open up doors on today. His love produces mercy on today. Amen. Oh, we thank God. I thank God today. I thank God most of all for being saved. As my God, Mother, Mother Bibi would say, thank God for being sanctified, not crankified, where I'm only sanctified in the church and, 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 and only can get uh, all up into the spirit when I'm in the church. Mm -hmm. But I thank God when I'm home, I can get up in the spirit. Amen. Uh, Amen. And, and then I don't have to get up in the spirit. The spirit already Amen. dwells in me. Amen. Oh, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. We got to be real on today. Amen. God is looking for real saints oh, on today. Yes, He's looking for saints that don't compromise with wrong. Oh, oh, and stand up for right. Oh, I thank God I'm not denying Christ on today. I'm determined to hold out to the end. I'm determined to stand up for right. Oh, the word said that if you resist the devil, he'll flee. And I just praise God. I'm resisting him on today. I refuse to give in on today. People may say, oh, if I was saved, I wouldn't. They better be glad I'm saved. No, I'm glad I'm saved. I ain't worried about what they, what they should be. I'm glad I'm saved. So I don't have to use that term in the middle of a fight or whatever because I don't have to fight my battles. The word said vengeance is mine and I will repay. Yes. Woo, are we glad that we got a we got a vengeance God. Yes. We can get angry but we don't have to sin. And God can take over so that we won't have to sin. You know, regardless of how we may feel about things, we got to still stay in the presence of the Lord. We got to allow God to be our presence. You know, we got to stay in his presence, in his will. We can't step out and step in. As his word said, I prefer for you to be hot or cold. Because other than that, he's going to spurt you out of his mouth. Thank God for being saved on today, for being sanctified on today. I know they say it's going to be some snow, but I'm glad I'm here on today. Oh, I thank God. I thank God for the transportation that he provides. I don't have a car, but it's okay. I don't need one. Uh, he let me know you don't need one. The transportation is right there. I step out my house. On the bus, step off the train, step off the bus in the train, step off the train right here at Shepherd. I don't have to ride too far, whatever. I get express trains, get me here. Long as I don't run into no backup. Oh, I thank God. I thank God. I, I got this app on my phone that's called The Citizen, and it tells you different things that are happening. And I get so many notifications of people dying. I get so many notifications. It just sent one, I think a few days ago of a young lady that was found in a house, killed. And I just got one where a 90 year old mother and her son was found in the, in the house. I thank God, God keeps us protected even in our house. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God he protects me on the train. Yeah. People are crazy on the train. They pushing people off the train, in the train. One lady got beat up on the four line for whatever reason, but I thank God he protects me. He protects me, and that's what counts on today. I have no fear on today, because God is my protector. Only thing that's gonna happen on today to us is what God allows. So when he don't allow things, 
We need to give him praise. We need to thank him. I don't care if it's just a little thing. You walking in your car driving. You can get a stroke. Somebody can come out of anywhere and hit you. That's something to thank God for. Even if you've been in an accident, that's something to give God praise. Because you came out all right. Hey, God is a good God on today. He's worthy of my praise. I thank God for being saved on today. Oh, I thank God for knowing him in the part of my sins. Hey, as my own personal savior. You got your own relationship and I got mine. But I thank God for my relationship with God that he's an on-time God. Thank God for being sanctified holy on today. Baptized with water and baptized with the Holy Ghost. And that with the burning fire. I'm asking you all that can get prayers to pray my strength in the Lord. We come this fall by faith. Leaning on the Lord. Trusting in His holy word. Continue to bless me 
you know, even through it all, continue to bless me more and more each and every day. Amen. I mean, he brought it down so far to the point where it's like, I, when I saw the letter, I was like so, I was so overjoyed. I didn't even know what to do with myself. You know, I was just crying. I was just full of all types of emotions because I was saying to the Lord, like, Lord, it was a big toll on me in that area. Mm -hmm. and, I, and Lord knew my heart. He knew my desire. He knew mm -hmm. what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. He knew what I wanted to, you know, do later on. He knew that I want to do better. He knew that I'm trying to do better. He knew that I, you know, just all together, just there, you know, because at one point I was saying, why is it so hard? Why is this in this situation so hard financially? But I thank God because God is able, you know, because the kids are home now from school, so I'm not working as much as I used to, you know, and like the manager, she does want me to do Sundays. She did it to the point where she told me I was going to be working on a Sunday. Now, I came back into the company telling them from the jump street that I do not do Sundays. I cannot do Sundays, that I go to church on Sundays. Now they done did a lot of changes, different managers and things like that. Now we have a new manager that's been on, been around for a couple of months. And I give it to her, she, is, she was trying to work with me. But you know, when people get into their feelings of things that, is, that they don't get their way with, they t tend to take it out on you. You know, it had nothing to do with me, but whatever she was going through, she get, it tends to take it out on you. Yeah. So she said a couple of Sundays ago to me that you have, that I have you down for Sunday. And I said, mm. I looked at her. I ain't gonna lie. I did turn my back on her because from jump, I said, I do not do Sundays. So, cause I go to church. So I told, I already said that already. So I know she understand what I said. So I'm not gonna continue to repeat the same thing. So I just turned around, didn't say anything. And then one of the girls said, Michelle, can you please just work this Sunday for me? Please, please. I said, okay, listen here. This is what we're gonna do here. I said, I'm gonna go to church in the morning. I'm gonna go to church and I'm gonna stay there. When I finish church, I will come. But this is the last time I mean, you're telling me this, but this is going to be the first and the last time I am doing this. I said, I understand that y'all need help, but at the same time, I have to deal with God at the end of it all. God is going to punish me for continually doing what he doesn't want me to do. He knows that, God knows that I'm supposed to be in his house on Sunday, and it's like when you stand up for God and stuff like that, God will bless you, and God will be there for you after all you do for him. Yes. At the nick of a time, you know. So I said, y'all want me there at 2.30. I get what you're saying. But I'm going to be there when I finish church. When I, So I'm letting you know I'm going to be there late. I am not. To me, it's not late. But because I stand up, stood up for God, I came there. I did what I had to do. And I did come to church. And I did stay at church. The church was over. And then I took the kids to where they had to go to so they could be, you know, um, cared for. And then I went to church, then I went to, to the job. Now when I get there, it's just me and the girl there, the other girl that was there that asked me, you know, can I please come to help her? I get there, I'm doing all I can and everything like that, leave late, like almost 12 o'clock at night. Now it's a toll on me, you know, because I have to deal with the kids. The next day is Monday. Kids got school. They're home. They're not even in the school. So I have to do extra. So I said, I reminded her, I said, I'm not going to do this again. I get there. I'm there all day. The lady has to nerve to tell me that you didn't have to do it. You did it because you wanted to. <laughs> Let's testify. So the blessing of that is that it's okay. You see how the you do something to help somebody and then they come back and then they they don't appreciate what you do. But God is able and God is able to do all things. Amen. So now she comes back to me the following day and says to me, I apologize to you for what I said to you. She said, I understand it's your church day. I'm a Muslim. And when it's time for them to do their thing, what they have to do, they go straight to it and forget everything else. 
So she came to say, I apologize to you. And from now on, I am not, that's my testimony. I am not going to come to you and ask you again in life to work on a Sunday. I said, that's see how right. God opens that's up right. the door that that's I right. can you. That's right. She said she will, she apologized to me. First, she talked about her being a Muslim. And then she turned around and said, I will not allow you to work on a Sunday because that is your church day, and I will never do that again to you. Mm -hmm. So God is able. Mm -hmm. God is able. You can say whatever you want about these jobs, but at the end of the day, when you stand up, I've done business with this test so many times, and when you stand up for God, God will step in on you in the midst of a time. Right Amen. at the time that you think that you are not able to do it, God is able, and I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. I thank God for how right. I, mean, I don't have to worry about that because at times, you know, it's hard. I don't work as much as I said. I don't work as much. So the little I do work, I do me. So I said, God, what am I going to do? And I'm glad that she came to me. She said what she said to me because sometimes the jobs can threaten you and say you will lose your job. You can't get this. You can't get that. And then when you go ahead and do what they want you to do, trust me, you are replaceable at any job you work at, no matter if you go or not. You are replaceable. But when you but when you in the when you in the fall of God and you continue to do what God wants you to do, you are not going to be replaced. So God will keep you and He will keep you through it all. So that is my testimony that I'm able to now say that. I'm able to now say it and believe it. And I thank God for that. Pray my strength to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We have a gentleman in the back if you desire to testify. <laughs> Yes, yes. Thank him. Worthy of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Giving honor to God, to Bishop Anderson, Pastor Glover, to the elder, to our minister, to our mother, to the evangelist, to everyone in God's house. Just thanking God for being in his house of worship one more time. Just thanking him for my waking up this morning and my lying down. For taking me out all the week long and not allowing any harm or danger to come upon me. I just praise God for for, for food, for his provisions, for the ways that he has made. Just thanking God for all things. Thanking him for being in my life on today, for being saved. Sanctified, filled with his Holy Ghost, asking your whole the word of prayer to remember missionary Stevens. Amen. You know, we're going to stand and receive a walk from Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for all things for the past three days. God, we thank you, God, for the service thus far. We thank you, God, for the word that's gone forth. Let's go grab the seed, but they have to give in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my home and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But you said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, Wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings? You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be seed in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the, the devour for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. You may come with your free will offerings at this time. The windows of heaven are open, and the fire is full of okay. 
Uh, he's a great teacher. Praise Who God. Who is that? All right. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I, when I look around and think things over, some of my good days outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Yeah. Sometimes the clouds hang low. I can barely see the road. So I ask the question, Lord, Lord, why? There's so much pain. He knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes, they can't see. So I say thank you, Lord. I won't complain. God has been so, so good to me. He's been so good to me. More than his world can ever be, I won't complain. He drives all of my, all of my tears away. He turned my midnight, he turned them into day. That's why now I can say, thank you, Lord, I won't complain. He drives all of my tears away. He turned my midnight, he turned them into day. That's why now I can say, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Amen. Amen. of all, he saved us from a terrible world of sin, and we thank God, amen, for that. Praise God, I'm giving honor.